Hi, good evening. I'm Dietmar Winska. Let's get going on the BEMA Classic system. I will explain the bits and pieces of it, the whole system. But before I go there, I just want to come back to the basics of BEMA regulation therapy and what that actually means and why the BEMA is so successful. And here I just want to bring you back, so those of you who've heard it before, just bear with me. But for those who are maybe the first time listening to a seminar or a webinar for that matter, um, the human organism is absolutely marvelous. There are four characteristics that strike a technical person like me very much. The first thing is that this whole body of ours is self-regulating. In other words, I do not consciously give it an input to uh, regulate its blood pressure, its cholesterol levels, its temperature or whatever. This body of ours is extremely networked. It is not just a machine where you change a single parameter and everything is working again or not working. It is so networked that just about every component in the body has an influence on all the others. It is certainly an optimizing system in that it is trying to keep us in our optimized state of health all the time. Ever since we were born, this body of ours is trying to keep us in top shape. And yes, sometimes we fall prey to some bug or some bacteria, virus or whatever. Uh, sometimes we may have an accident or whatever. But in the end, the body is trying to heal and regenerate and just get us back to this optimum state for living. It is also an absolutely um, amazing thing that this body of ours is self-healing. There's nothing in the technical domain that is completely self-healing like the body is. So I say this with great respect, but neither the medical science, neither medical doctors, and nor the BEMA is actually healing anything. We are just all trying in our various ways to enable the body to get its own healing process back on track. Now, on what principle does the BEMA achieve its remarkable effectiveness? It's really very, very fundamental basics and you will see it in a moment. But it is profound. Uh, and this principle or these fundamentals are, as usual, very simple to understand. But if you go down into the detail, it is a very complex matter, especially at the biological level, at the microbiological level. We don't have time to get in there. And uh, you don't want to hear all this on a Wednesday night either. Uh, and it is certainly true that you don't have to be a digital telecommunications engineer to actually make use of a cell phone. And here you must trust me for a moment that the BEMA, although it is simple to use, even the BEMA Classic people is easy to use, but the complexity of what's going on in our bodies while we are subject to the process of the BEMA, that is something rather complex. And for that, uh, we must just remember that we consist of 200 different types of cells and these cells all together make up our body and that's about 100 million million. In other words, a one with 14 zeros behind it is an awfully big number. It's almost like citizens of an organism. The cells are individual organisms in a way that work together for good in this body we call our body. These cells need oxygen and nutrients. They also need to have waste products and CO2 and so on removed from them. And for that we have a blood circulatory system. And the heart and the lungs are the main component of that. And of course the piping itself. And the piping consists of arteries and veins, but they go right down into the microcirculation, which is tiny, tiny little blood vessels. The chemistry is incredibly complicated. Um, we consist of about 20 amino acids and we manufacture in our cells 250,000 different types of proteins. The process of building just one is an awesomely complex thing that makes the building of the Titanic and aircraft carrier or the space shuttle, which by the way is the most complex machine man ever made, actually uh, it is nothing compared to what's happening when you're building proteins. And all that information is built in. But for all these things to happen in the body, we need energy. 
And this energy is generated by the body itself in the cells by some uh, process which is too complicated to explain here now but it is basically converting sugar to uh, energy and uh, this chemical that is used in the body called ATP, adenosine triphosphate, uh, because the phosphate combinations are very, very energetic. Um, through that we get biological energy which does everything in the body that, is, uh, that needs to be done at cellular level and if the cells can do their job and the circulation is there to bring the oxygen and the nutrients and remove the waste product, then this energy ensures that the self-regulation system which includes the self-healing process is working optimally. And so it's not rocket science to understand it, but it certainly is very profound rocket science in the detail. So in a way we are just the body with opening for food in the head. We have two half brains, the left and the, and the, and the right, in case you didn't know. We've got joints, we've got a heart, we've got lungs, we've got legs, toes, arms, fingers, skin, etc. And the blood supply has to reach all because each one of those components above consists of cells. And the blood circulation is thus highly significant for maintenance of cell biology or let's call it cellular health. Illness conditions equals problems at cellular level. So whenever we have the symptom of an illness, it is a certain group of cells not doing their job. Is it that simple? Yes, it is. On, at the very, very basic level. And that is usually then leading to an ATP shortage and then we are in a little bit of a vortex. Unless the body has the energy resources to get itself right again. Now, the heart and arteries, I've already said, are necessary to pump the blood on the one side to the arteries is the piping and the veins are the pipes that lead back to the heart and it branches into ever smaller blood vessels called the arterioles and the venoles and uh, these are then again connected to the capillaries. Just to give you an idea, a capillary is about five thousandths of a millimeter. Now you know how wide a millimeter is if you just take a ruler and have a look at one millimeter then you split it into a thousand uh, divisions and five or six of them is the diameter of these capillaries. Now your whole blood vessel network is about 120,000 kilometers and if you really think about it just for a moment that is three times around the earth and that is somehow packed into your body. And if you were to spread it out it would cover the size of a rugby field but that depends of course if we can find a volunteer to demonstrate that this is true. Main thing here is that 75% of those 120,000 kilometers are in fact capillaries and slightly larger blood vessels. In other words what constitutes the microcirculation. You don't have to remember any of this because there is no test at the end of this webinar. And all the interaction all the cellular processes, uh, uh, all the chemical processes take place at capillary level. That's where the oxygen and the nutrients is exchanged at cellular level. That is how the glucose gets to the cell so that the mitochondria can produce ATP. So you can see how significant this whole uh, blood circulation is. Now, most of the problems that most of us have, myself included, is lifestyle. Lifestyle choices that you and I make that don't matter when you're 20 or 30 because you can hardly feel it except for the occasional bubble lust, but lifestyle makes all the difference. Lack of exercise and so on. The stress we have. What does stress actually mean? Stress means constriction of blood vessels. And if our blood vessels are constricted, less blood can flow to the cells. If less blood can flow, there is less oxygen and nutrients. If there is less blood, we have less waste products that can be removed. That oxygen shortage in time becomes a permanent acidity situation. Acidity means um, there, is, uh, there are too many hydrogen um, uh, ions in the cells and the body is trying to get rid of it through the bloodstream and neutralize it in a very complex process but this acidity messes up the cellular metabolism. 
and what results by the time you're 45, 50 is you will have the first symptoms of chronic ailments. Of course, that depends a lot on what your lifestyle is and it depends how long you lived with that lifestyle and of course there is a genetic component there as well. So I just wanted to say that as background because the causes of much of our ill health are then lack of regular exercise, poor breathing habits, the stress that we get from interacting with each other, uh, spouses, children, employer, um, teachers, I don't know what, the traffic, whatever. Environmental stress is coming from the food we eat, the water we drink, malnutrition of course is a big, big problem today um, in the third world and also in our poorer section in South Africa. It is malnutrition because there aren't enough nutrients and so on and the right balance in food. But in many people in, in Western society, in the end, it leads to obesity because we eat too much of the wrong stuff. And the common factor in all this, once again, you can see is lifestyle. Because it creates poor circulation and that again creates a lack of oxygen. And then we are into this vortex. To have a self-healing effect and to have a good self-regulating body, we have to stimulate the microcirculation. Because the microcirculation improves essential supply and removal mechanisms for the cells. If that happens, then we have an improved energy production and greater biological effectiveness. And if we have better ATP production and better biology at cellular level, then our regulation processes in the body, it stands to reason, are working much better. That in turn improves our self-healing effect. So is the whole of biology that simple? Not at all. This is an attempt in a block diagram to show fundamentally what is going on here. Now the BEMA Classic is really the third generation BEMA physiological regulation therapy system. We started off in 1998 with the invention of Dr. Kafka's pulse which was patented and ever since that day the BEMA uh, is really the world leader in pulsed electromagnetic field therapy devices. How can I say such a thing? How can I make such a statement? Because aren't there lots of competitors out there? Isn't pulsed electromagnetic field therapy old hat already? Indeed it is. And there's a lot of old machinery and devices which work on principles that were never understood. Hence the, the, the levels of the magnetic field are not optimized, the, the pulse shape is not optimized and so on. And you will see that even on the internet that there are rogue websites who actually proclaim their own uh, device which is old technology and was disproven long ago and they're promoting it and comparing it to the BEMA which is a backhanded compliment really if somebody says uh, the BEMA isn't really that good because they only focus on the BEMA. The BEMA is the best in its class. It is certainly evidence-based as defined by the Oxford University um, study on what constitutes evidence-based medicine. The BEMA itself holds five patents. It has in fact been uh, recognized by a German court as the only fundamentally uh, well-working pulse electromagnetic field therapy device and uh, is allowed to say so. But more so on the medical side, it is registered as a class 2A. There should be no I here in the middle. It's a class 2A medical device. It means it is registered with the South African Department of Health, has been submitted to the Medicine Control Council which is something like the FDA in the United States. It is fully accredited in Europe, in the European Union, in all those countries of the European Union, as a medical device. So on the highest medical um, association or accreditation level, we've done all our homework. The BEMA is there, even in, in Europe and in part in the United States as well. It is certainly scientific and it is medical research based. And tonight is not the time to talk about this, uh, but I want you to know this. This is not just a fancy looking little gadget. 
that is quite pricey, although it is effective and it has no negative side effects, it is indeed a scientific and medically based, research based, evidence based, patented class to a medical device. So we can't get away from that. But let me explain the BEMA Classic for those of you, especially you, you who have got it, and some of you BBPs who may want to explain it to others. The components of the BEMA is really the, the B box classic, as we call it, which is the control box. The B body, which is the main part of the therapy, it is that big mat that is here folded in, in three sections, but when it is outstretched, then um, we uh, uh, rely on it connected to the BEMA uh, B box classic and uh, we do our therapy by means of these levels that I will explain in a moment. Um, we also have the B spot and the B spot is uh, for local places like maybe a knee joint or a stomach problem or a neck problem or an elbow problem. Uh, and similar to that, but for a larger area, is the B-pad. And the B-light is a special applicator for skin problems. That reaches from acne to psoriasis to uh, neurodermatitis, wounds, and things like that. But more about that in a moment. I want you to uh, have a look. If you don't have a Bema uh, Classic as yet, and here I must say to you, for those of you who may be listening and are waiting for the exchange program, we're still a little bit behind on the exchange program uh, that uh, we have to do from the 1st of January 2010 until now. We've still got a few. And then, of course, those people who indicated they wanted to trade in their old BEMA 3000 and BEMA 3000 Plus, we haven't even started on those. So please be patient. It is not that it's not going to happen, but the demand for the BEMA was so great for the new BEMAs that Europe cannot keep up. And so, yes, we're selling the new BEMA Classic and the new BEMA Professional. That is true. We have already exchanged most of the ones from the 1st of January 2010, but the ones that uh, were purchased before that, uh, they run on a voluntary basis, those who want to exchange and there I just beg your indulgence and your patience and bear with me because we cannot supply what we haven't yet got. But here is the Bema Classic box then. Um, here it is in a, in a uh, sort of looking at it from the top. You can see that it tilts. You just put your thumbs on. Let, let me see if I can actually highlight that with a highlighter. If you push your thumbs on these two corners then it will lift up like this um, and if you want to push it down uh, back to the position all you do is you, you push on the face here and it will go down back flat okay also you see there is a little card slot over here on this side you can see it and this card slot um, is for later when we want to upgrade and update the software maybe on the machine. Uh, we also have two magnetic ports here on the one side. It is as you look at it on your right side and uh, these magnetic ports they gave some problems right at the beginning but most of that is now sorted out. We also have a little gadget that fits into the back of the machine that is the B-Scan which is really that little noisy machine you used to have in the BEMA 3000 that you switch on to see if there is an active magnetic field coming out of the mat, out of the B spot or out of the B pad. Okay? And um, it's got a multifunction display. Uh, uh, it's quite a big one. Uh, you can set it for three different intensities. Uh, you, you can let it make a noise while it is operating. So here we can see it very clearly. Um, let me get my pen again, that seems to work quite well. Um, uh, just what it shows you is the program that you're on, in this case P3 at the moment, you are at the moment at level 6 and it has 8 minutes and 52 seconds to go. 
whenever you see this uh, Kafka signal over here, that Kafka signal indicates that that signal is now coming out and it should be going to connector A2 in this case and whatever is connected to it, the map probably. Um, and over here we have the plus signal on and off and the intensity level if it is the high level mode or if it is the uh, um, ordinary body map level. Okay, I will get into the detail of that in a moment. Let me just see if I can actually click this. No, I can't. I can only highlight it. So let us go there. The main thing on this whole machine is you have noticed if it is on battery power or connected to the mains that this uh, switch off switch on button and do not get confused with switch on switch off and start and stop. Start and stop this next button this is the switch on and off and this is the start stop just above it that whatever you've selected if you want to get going and you got this picture you press start. If you want to stop it at any time you stop it. This switch just ensures there's power going to the machine or not. Okay, These are the traditional levels 1 to 5 and here 6 to 10. We've spoken about that a lot on the Bema 3000 but we will get uh, more into the therapy in a moment. The two magnetic ports are already mentioned and you can connect to these two magnetic ports a combination of one mat and nothing in the other one. A mat and a special applicator in A1 and A2 or two mats in, uh, in, in plug A1 and A2. Um, and then you just have to choose by going through the set button if you want uh, only the one, if you want the two mats together or if you want to be on port A2. The one that is flashing is the one that you have selected. So just practice that a little bit by um, uh, selecting what, whatever level you want or P program you want, you just go set, set, set and you will see that A1 and A2 is alternately flashing and then uh, if you press set the third time they both flash if you have two mats connected to it and then you can just press start and equal power will go to both mats. This is ideal if you've got it embedded in your bed. Note also that a mat and a special applicator cannot run simultaneously, only one at a time. And the one that's flashing is the one you select and then you press start. I'm sure you're with me there. So that is that set switch that I explained now at length. I think you, you understood that. Um, you can also choose the programs P1, P2 and P3 and the sleep program that's indicated in that second row below the display and the P1, P2, P3 are really for the intensive applicators like the B-Spot and the B-Pad and the sleep program is as it says for the sleeping. Uh, I get to that in a moment. The sleep program you can once you've selected sleep you can go through the set set six hours, seven hours, eight hours, six hours, seven hours, eight hours. That means every time the hours from this moment now when you're going to press start until you want to wake up. Okay? And then the internal program of the Bema Classic will determine what sort of intensities uh, it will give you while you're falling asleep. What intensities excuse me, it will give you when you um, are in your deep sleep phase and then slowly waking you up again. Uh, what is it good for? Oh yes, and by the way, you can only choose between these three. That's it. Six, seven or eight hours. You cannot, on the professional, um, you have a bit more flexibility there. Um, but, but why did they introduce the sleep program even? Well, did a lot of research at the Institute for Microcirculation at the Charité Clinic at the University of Berlin. And what they found is that during the sleep phase, the blood diffusion to the various organs and tissue is very different to what is happening during the daytime. And so during the night circulation, um, the, the whole 
refurbishment of your internal organs takes place. It helps you to be less susceptible to infection. It helps your kidneys to remove more waste products. So it could very well mean that during the sleep program when you use it, that you may have to go to the loo more often than, than normal, maybe twice a night or once a night, that uh, normally you didn't have to go at all. And that is just because the kidneys are working much more efficiently. Um, and the same happens with your liver, your spleen, all your internal organs, which are in a way, in a natural way, refurbished during your sleep period. Okay, and the start-stop treatment, as I said, whatever you selected here, uh, once you've set it up, press start and then the whole Beamer show starts rocking. That is uh, metaphorically in your body. In case you have an error message, just switch off the whole machine and switch it on again and start afresh. That is a typical computer thing that if you have a problem, if something freezes up, switch off everything and start afresh. Unfortunately, um, that is how it is and that is why I suppose Boeing's and Airbus doesn't run on Windows. Okay, note that this Beamer Classic can also be supplied with rechargeable batteries. It's one solid block battery. It's a bit like a laptop battery or a bigger version of your uh, cellular telephone battery. Uh, it is high technology. It is long lasting, long life and it'll work for hours. Um, and, and I mean how many hours, not minutes, hours are you going to use the Beamer? It'll probably last for a week, at least. Anyway, you can also leave the rechargeable battery, and they are available, by the way, uh, at the moment for 1,550 Rand, including VAT. And uh, you just, um, there's a hole at the bottom of the Beamer that you, that is covered with a lid. You just unscrew it with two screws. Anyone can do that who can handle a screwdriver. You fit in the battery, it fits exactly into that hole. It fits into that hole only in one way. You can't do anything wrong. You put the screws back and then when you connect it to the mains, it is automatically put on charge. Okay, so the rechargeable batteries are really something very useful, especially if you want to lie out there in the garden or in another room and you don't want to um, rip up your bed and take the, the, the body mat out of the mattress or whatever and you just want to use the B pad or the B light or the B spot, um, that is really a very, very useful thing to have. At the back, as I mentioned, we have this little scanner. Um, it fits very snugly in the back there. And uh, if you press the button, the little green light comes on and you will hear an acoustic noise if there is an electromagnetic field being generated. Now you can test it on the transformer you can uh, test it anywhere in the house where there is an electrical appliance that probably has a transformer in it. Um, and the main reason is, of course, that you test the mat and do the B spot and the B pad to see if there's a signal coming out. You don't have to do this every time. You do this once in a blue moon if you suspect there's something wrong. But this machine has a self-diagnostic. It's not the same as a self-healing. But if there's anything wrong in that machine, it will tell you with an error message. The errors even come up with numbers and in your manual you have a list of error codes and then depending on what it is you maybe switch it off and restart again and the error may be gone but if the error persists it may need upgraded software which is also not something that happens uh, at all anymore really um, but if, if that error is so persistent that the machine doesn't work anymore, obviously you send it to us and your three-year guarantee will cover all that. Okay, you're still with me. The magnetic ports are really wonderful. The little magnets uh, problem that we had at the beginning are really sorted out and should you still have one of those magnets falling out, just send us the component where the magnet fell out. We'll fix it um, and uh, you know, it won't happen again. Uh, we've sorted that problem out, definitely. So, as I said, um, the basic Beamer therapy is really 
the buttons 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You connect the body mat to it or through the magnetic ports. Remember there where it says BEMA, where the BEMA logo is, that is the head end. And where it says B Body Classic, that's the foot end. You can turn it upside down, that doesn't matter. But the head end is the head end and the foot end is the foot end. But which way round you do that doesn't matter. The questions come up, um, does it matter if I put it on top of my body or below my body? Not really. Um, if you really want to treat two people with one mat, why don't you cover the one person uh, with a mat and you lie on top of that? But I'm sure that is not very comfortable. Um, so if you want to uh, treat two people simultaneously, it is better to invest in a second mat. Okay. The general guidelines on BEMA Classic treatment are the following. There's really a very basic principle. The weaker the person, the older the person, by older I mean 70, 80, maybe even bedridden, the weaker the person, the lower the level. So while for normal people that are reasonably healthy, but not exactly fit, uh, you use a level 3. And level 3 will then be the optimum treatment for that person. A person that is very healthy and fit, the best is 4 or 5 or 6 level. 5 or 6 when you wake up in the morning. But even the healthier and fitter person may be exhausted in the evening and then you would go back to a level 3 in the evening. If that person is a, the healthier person is also an athlete, Let's say you run the Comrades or you cycled the Argus race or the Cape Epic which is coming next week. Then um, these people can easily uh, use 8, 9 or 10. And then this curve shifts more to the, let me also show you this here. Then this curve shifts to this side, okay. While a weaker person, one that is bedridden, will move to this side. In other words, will be more uh, the lower levels because they are weaker. Okay, There's a long explanation for that, but we don't have time to go into that at the moment. So the basic principle is the weaker the person, the lower the level, where your starting point is about a 3, and the healthier and fitter the person, the higher the level, and your starting point there could be a 4, 5, 6. You don't have to go above a 6. Unless you're an athlete, then you can go to 7, 8, 9. It is good, having said all that, that if a reasonably healthy person uses level 10 once a day, that is good for the um, bone marrow and it is good for the immune system uh, indirectly because in the bone marrow, the basics for your immune system are manufactured. You must also know that because we never know what our metabolic state is, that it is not that serious if you have the right level. There is only one optimum level, but this optimum level changes from hour to hour, from person to person, even in the same person. It will not be the same in the morning as it will be in the evening. And it will change during the day. So if we are using level 3, um, uh, uh, let me say it again, if we start off in the morning with a level 4 or 5, then in the evening we'll be a little bit more stressed, we'll be a little bit more exhausted, we'll be a little bit more acidic, then we go on a level 3 in the evening. If you really had a bit of a day and you're exhausted from whatever, go on a level 2 or even a 1 in the evening. Okay? And for people who have just run a marathon and they're used to level 8, 9 or 10, after the marathon they will be so acidic, after athletic, uh, or even having gone to the gym, um, after that you should go back on a 3 or at the most a 4 if you're a top fit athlete. But the point here that I want to make is whatever beneficial parameter um, uh, we, we, whatever parameter we are improving, to reach that level of a, let's say here, a, a person like you and me and at the top it's a top fit person then if you use the optimum level, 
it would be in a very short time, maybe two weeks, and you would have reached that level. While if you were to use the wrong level in inverted commas, you would still get there, it would just take longer. So instead of the two weeks, it might take you six weeks. Um, and of course, if you have a lot of ill health for a long time already, these curves may stretch out a little bit longer. But you understand this? There is no wrong level. There are only optimum levels and the other levels. So whatever level you're on, you will always derive a benefit, although it may not have been the best level you could have been on had you known what the best level is. But if you start off with four or five in the morning and three in the evening and once a day you do a level 10, then you're fine. For an athlete, it would just be uh, the numbers would be higher. You would start off with 8, 9 or 10 in the morning or before uh, uh, a competition and in the evening you probably also use a 3 or 4. Okay. Um, yeah, I put the old machine uh, a picture here as well because on the new machine what is very good for your body is if you used a P1. You got that? If you got a pen there. P1 for... Um, on the on the body mat, the big mat, it's just an eight minute treatment, but it makes a very big difference in your vasomotion. That is the dilation and contraction of your microcirculation, um, which usually uh, weakens considerably when you're above 55, 60. So then it would be a good thing to go on P1. It's not to say younger people can't do it. Um, but to be really useful, um, ah, I use it. Mind you, I'm 61. So, yes, okay. But uh, I find it very, very beneficial for me. Okay, supportive measures during therapy um, for yourself or even if you treat others. Make sure that the room is aired and, and not damp and it's not cold and so on. If it is coolish and we're moving into autumn and winter, then just cover yourself with a blanket. Avoid stress during treatment. Okay, I think that is very important. Uh, avoid stress. What I mean by that is don't necessarily talk on the phone about some serious issue with somebody when you're meant to relax on this beamer. Don't read exciting literature or read the newspaper while you're on the beamer because something's going to be upsetting there. Maybe it's going to be the stupid politicians making all sorts of illogical pronouncements or maybe it is the crime that upsets you or something else you might read. Also don't watch CNN at the moment, especially if you're anti-nuclear. So, see to it that you're in a comfortable position. Okay, comfortable position means lie down on the beamer but not on a hard surface. Make it comfortable. Uh, Make sure your, your, your clothing is loose. Um, don't lose it. It is loose clothing. <laughs> uh, and release belts. No smoking until three hours after you've treated yourself. Because you must know that your whole body is now geared to um, absorb more oxygen. But it will also absorb more CO2 and all the poisons that are in a cigarette. In fact, the best is to stop smoking altogether. I mean, it is a bit of a contradiction to be on the beamer every day and then to fill your lungs with smoke again. Um, but okay, that's a lifestyle choice you make. Um, you see, I love coffee, but we should have no coffee or alcohol three hours before treatment. Now, if you treat yourself every three hours, this is the best way to stop smoking, not drinking coffee or alcohol. Because if you treat yourself every three hours, then you never get a chance, according to this protocol, to either smoke, drink coffee or alcohol. Um, but here I must tell you, I'm also a bit of a sinner. Not so much, well, not on the smoking, not at all. Cancel that one out. Um, and the alcohol, very, very little. But I love coffee. Anyway, water is the most important thing to drink. Um, and uh, some of us do not like uh, water very much, but it is actually a supportive measure for the Bema therapy. And I tell you why. If you have an excess of 
uh, toxic materials, waste products, then the best way to get rid of them is through your kidneys the natural way. If you go on the Bema and you should possibly be highly toxic with something and you don't drink enough water, this toxicity will come out through your skin. And that could be the form of psoriasis or some other itzlach, you know, uh, eczemas or whatever it might be. Then, of course, good eating habits, good um, breathing habits, regular exercise. I know they are common sense things. I'm as bad as the next sinner in this one because we all um, eat the wrong stuff occasionally because it's so lacquer. Um, we often do not breathe properly because even the way I sit in front of my laptop right now is probably not very conducive for good breathing habits. But the other thing that is very important is regular exercise. Now for that, it doesn't mean to say you've got to run a marathon every day or even run 50 miles a day or 2 miles a day or whatever. Just do some regular exercise. Maybe some stretching, serious stretching of 15-20 minutes a day is already something. Walking the dog. You know, in the UK and in Europe in general, people take their children on bicycles and their dogs for a walk. Um, that is a very good exercise. So it doesn't have to be highly strenuous exercise, especially guys of my age don't have to start playing tennis and squash again if they haven't played for the last 25 years. That would probably be very unhealthy. Okay. Hope you're still there. Uh, are there contraindications with the BEMA? There are, but they are easily explained. There are no negative side effects. Let me put that ahead of time. No negative side effects. Where do you get a medicine like that? Nowhere. And because the BEMA operates at a level of magnetism that is equivalent to the geomagnetic field, um, that is why there are no negative side effects. But there are two contraindications that we have to be careful of. The one is transplants. So if a person has just undergone a kidney transplant, say, then you do not use the BEMA because the BEMA um, supports the strengthening of the immune system and when you have had a transplant of an, of an, of an organ from a, another donor, you will get medication that suppresses the immune system and the BEMA will boost it. So that would be not a very good idea to do. And then there are some ethical treatment aspects. Um, I think never try to attempt diagnosis. Always refer to a doctor, a medically qualified person, so that you know what this person has. A leaking heart valve, which you do not recognize the symptoms of, the BEMA is not going to help anything. That person should be in a hospital under the supervision of a heart specialist. But things like pregnancies and people with pacemakers, while there is no danger to the fetus or the mother, while there is absolutely no danger for people with a pacemaker, I can guarantee you if anything happens to that pregnancy or to the person with a pacemaker while on the BEMA or just having come off the BEMA, or having used the BEMA the day before yesterday, they will, with suspicion, look at the BEMA. Now we know the BEMA has no ill effects. It doesn't even have a tiny, tiny side effect. And in the case of pacemakers, they have to be specified and to be resistant to all sorts of electromagnetic radiation, your cell phone, your microwave, and all the stuff that floats around in the electromagnetic spectrum around us inside the home and outside the home. And yet we would be careful not to treat people like that. Oh yes, my eye just falls on this point of dead tissue transplants above here. I uh, forgot to mention that. A cornea transplant, um, a heart valve transplant from skin tissue like a pig or something does not count as a transplant of an organic organ. That is dead tissue. That means there is no blood flowing through it. Uh, in the one case it's just a flap and in the other case it's just a lining in the case of the cornea um, with no blood flowing through it. 
However, those things I would also be very careful. There's no danger to it, but I think it needs a bit more medical approval. Uh, and here we're in a bit of a fix. <clears throat> Because most medical practitioners have never heard of the BEMA. They hear the word magnetic field and they get all excited for the wrong reasons and they disallow the use of the BEMA. I can assure you that is mainly ignorance, but nevertheless, we want to be ethical and so uh, the best is to avoid any transplants and to avoid any attempt of trying to find out what the problem is with the person uh, in the sense of medical uh, diagnosis and I would not uh, recommend treating pregnant people. It's mainly women, okay, but I wouldn't do that. <clears throat> we also be very careful with high fever, cardiovascular problems um, because there are always things there that you and I do not understand medically. And uh, you know that saying, uh, um, um, What's it? Um, oh, what is it? Fear to tread where angels, you know, where angels fear to tread. Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. We must not go into situations like that. Um, the aneurysms are really the large aneurysms are really a contraindication. Um, and if a person has epilepsy and they are uncontrollable with medical uh, devices, uh, with medical with medication, sorry, then you shouldn't treat people. Uh, with those conditions either. There are some reactions that may be useful for you to know. Um, you will find that some people say since they're on the BEMA they have more cramps while they're sleeping and that would be correct but it is not the BEMA that actually produces the cramps but the BEMA improves the self-regulating mechanism so much that the body now has a more acute sense of the lack of minerals like magnesium, calcium, sodium. And that is a problem with most of us actually, but because we don't do any exercise, because our microcirculation isn't working optimally in most cases without the BEMA now, um, we only get these cramps every now and so often. Every now and then rather. Um, but if we use the BEMA regularly, then these cramps can increase because now the insufficiency of some of these elements now becomes pronounced. So, uh, sorting out the uh, supplements uh, of, of these minerals is important, um, but we're not going to talk about that here in detail, but just you have to be aware of it. Um, sometimes there are skin reactions. It's again not the BEMA that causes the problem. The problem is in the body already. The body is now trying to sort it out, but because there is a lack of water, the body has to remove those toxins through the skin. It's actually a good sign and shows you the BEMA is working, but it requires more drinking of water. Sometimes there is an increase in pain initially, and uh, hey, you guys with the BEMA said the pain would be reduced. Well, sometimes it actually increases, and that is because, again, the whole um, nervous system also consists of cells that may function well or not so well, but the BEMA will improve the functioning of nerve cells and all neurological conditions actually and so with that improved sensitivity your brain perceives this as increased pain. It really just means that your nervous system has become more sensitive but if you can stand the pain then carry on with the level that you're on but if the pain is too much for you then just go to level 2 or even level 1 but persist because the way the pain and the origin of the pain will um, decrease. Some people get very agitated at the level, the higher levels, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, especially before going to sleep. Well, that's very easy. In that case, you just use a much lower level and see what happens. If you have agitation with any treatment, in other words, with any level, on the level 1 to 10, in the P1, P2, P3, wherever, then, well, I haven't got an explanation for you. There are one or two percent of the people that seem to be that sensitive. They claim that they are very sensitive to electromagnetic uh, fields. And then I tell you what, if they own a cell phone, if they have a um, microwave in their house, 
then I don't know what the issue is because they could not even live in that house. Um, the BEMA is so weak in terms of the electromagnetic emissions that come out that there really should be no problem at all. Also, some people ask, are metal implants a problem? They are never a problem because the intensity of the magnetic field is of the order of the Earth's magnetic field. So if you had a problem with the metal implant on the BEMA, you would have it just walking around the Earth. Okay? There is no problem at all with metal implants of any type anywhere in your body and using the BEMA. Okay, just some things to remember. The BEMA is not like a pill. A pill is given for certain symptoms and the symptoms are treated. I call that indication-based. The BEMA therapy is not indication-based. It is process-based. You lie on the mat, you undergo a process. This process improves the microcirculation, which improves the oxygenation and the waste removal, which improves the energy production, the ATP production, which in turn improves the cellular functioning and the self-regulation ability of the body. The BEMA doesn't heal anything in it through itself. What the BEMA does is it just creates condition in your body, conditions in your body, so that the human physiology, and by the way, it works equally well on a horse or on a cat or a dog. Um, in fact, the cats and dogs in the house where there is a BEMA like the machine very much, and they will challenge you when they want to lie, when they want to lie on the mat. It improves vital physiological parameters. It is absolutely repeatable. The results will be consistent. It's proven very easily anywhere with the appropriate equipment. So this is not something that you just believe in and then we see if it works. Of course, the placebo effect of believing in something is a positive thing, which uh, happens even when you visit a doctor or when you believe that this pill or this operation helps you. Um, so in that sense, there is a tiny uh, placebo effect, but what the BEMA does physiologically in your body is repeatable and consistent and measurable. That's important too. It influences your whole body. So in that sense, it is holistic. I know holistic is not a word the medical people like very much, but holistic really just means integrated thinking. And that is lacking a lot in the treatment of chronic ailments today. It does not, the BEMA does not replace modern medicine, but it can for sure alleviate suffering. It can get rid of chronic ailments. It can also, in many cases, help people with conditions for which there is no cure, they say, like diabetes, amputating legs and feet. In that sense, it does not replace modern medicine because it's much cheaper. It saves you the expense of all those pills, which in the end cause you kidney failure anyway. Then your, your patient is healthy but died of kidney failure. What a pity. Um, and there is ease of treatment. I mean, it's a no-brainer to lie on a mat, switch on a button there, and get treated with no negative side effects. Um, and it's an eight-minute treatment a day, at the most half an hour a day, okay? So we also have a power recliner, by the way, um, where we integrate the body mat. This mat is, uh, this is zipped all the length. You put this underneath there, and in a little drawer at the bottom of this uh, stand is where the control box is. So I just wanted to point out that power recliner again, you can order it through the office. Uh, we have it now in leather, synthetic leather, and in many, many colors. We're sure we can uh, fit it to fit your furniture in your lounge. Um, the B spot that I mentioned is for local um, points like your elbow or neck or your, your stomach or whatever. The B pad is an area op applicator if you want to wrap it around your shoulder. I hurt my shoulder the other day playing for the first time in my life. I played action cricket and I swung my arm the way these cricket players swing it. But uh, with 61, my shoulder joint was not used to that. And the pain that I had the next day, I couldn't even get my elbow uh, up to the height of my, of, my, of my breast, you know, of my, well, what was it, B, 
my armpit. I couldn't even get it that high. And I treated myself with a B-pad four times a day, five times a day. Um, and I used uh, P3, by the way. And today, which is Wednesday, I have absolutely no pain. And if we had a video here, I could show you. I can swing my arm again, but I will not play action cricket again. Um, the Bema Light on a level 10 is excellent for wound healing and other skin ailments. And these two, the B-pad and the B-light, are accessories. So the Bema Classic consists of the control box, the body mat, and the B-spot. You got that? The other two you can purchase as accessories. Okay, what else is there? The light, I have already told you that it is uh, uh, very easy to use on the body. There is a little strap that you can, um, with Velcro, you can attach it to it, wrap it around your arm or whatever place you want to treat. The B spot, very much the same, um, but you can use it on your knees, you can use it on your elbow. It also has such a strip. Uh, it's actually the same strip, and you can also wrap it around um, the place where you want to use it. The Bema pad has uh, a Velcro strip over here. Oops, let me just uh, get this thing again. Over here and over here. And so you can wrap it around, in my case, my shoulder, my arm, and uh, that way I got rid of the pain. Worked very, very well because I used it the whole weekend just about. And uh, it's beautiful in its shape because it's like a, a bit of a, um, yeah, like a strip, like a runner on a table. And you can wrap it around your knee, you can wrap it around your neck, you can put your whole elbow there, wherever you need it. Okay. So, we're almost done, people. The Bema Classic can be used for the healthy and the active. You say to me, but there's nothing wrong with me. I'm fit and healthy. Well, there's improved mental and physical performance, and so you will have much more joyful living. I mean, there's no doubt about that. It will increase your well-being and your vitality and your performance, mentally and physically. Yes, we all get older. There's no way around that. But we stay younger. We stay younger in terms of vitality performance. Um, it is certainly the most cost-effective means of preventing sickness, staying healthy, and improving the body's self-regulation ability when something, the bug, does bite us, okay? If you are ill, then to support the self-regulating parameters in your body becomes of paramount importance. So by improving the microcirculation and oxygen supply, that counters much of the ailment caused acidity, and the acidity is deadly for cells, remember? And when that is fixed, then accelerated healing uh, takes place. We improve our immune system. There are no negative side effects, as I said. And it's compatible with every other medical therapy or medicine. Why is that? Well, if you take pills for a certain condition, then the Bema therapy will improve the effectiveness of these pills because the active ingredient actually gets to those cells that get the benefit of this active ingredient of that medicine. So, it is absolutely essential to be on a Bema when you take medication. But let the doctor discover that you're doing so well that they can reduce the, um, the doses of the medication. And, and note this little rider here, that if you reduce the medication, you also reduce the, the potential negative side effects of the medication. So, it's a win-win all around, no doubt about that. And of course, if you're a sporty person or even an athlete, well, uh, you get increased performance. Why? More oxygen in the blood, more oxygen to the muscle, faster regeneration and healing when you do get hurt, which happens a lot for top athletes especially. The, 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 the Sharks, by the way, the rugby team there, they swear by the Bema. They got six Bemas now and they're using them all the time. They even take it to New Zealand. Why? Because they rec their players recover from serious injuries and light injuries very, very much faster. Much, much faster. Uh, they can also lie on the Bema before a game, or any athlete for that matter, to save energy during warm-up, because you will automatically warm up if there is improved circulation. 
it prevents some sports injuries because you're so much fitter already and there's a reduction of recovery time after injury as I illustrated with the sharks. Um, it is approved by the International Olympic Committee uh, for Olympic Games for athletic events at world standard level. So people again there, the BEMA has done its thing on the official accreditation side. This is not a Mickey Mouse gimmick here today gone tomorrow. This will be like the PC in the 80s. It will take a while to spread through South Africa and the world for that matter, but we're well on the road.